Hey, what's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. This is the Louisville Criterium um, in Louisville, Colorado. Interesting course, it's pretty flowy and you're either going down or you're going up. So this is kind of the downhill section after the start finish straight where you could definitely get a lot of speed um, going into the last turn that leads onto the start finish straight. Um, but as you can see, I have a pretty big gap here. I've never done this course, so I kind of wanted to be in front to just go through it at full speed. Um, but <laughs> whenever I saw I had a gap, I was like, hmm, maybe I'll push and see if I can, uh, you know, get an even bigger of a gap and maybe someone want to bridge up. Um, but this is the um, uphill section and it you know gets to about four percent so nothing too crazy but it's definitely um, you know after going around the course a, a bunch it definitely can get a little tiring coming up this every time um, but you know in my head too I'm kind of just thinking you know for this final sprint at the end if it does come down to a field sprint I'm definitely not going to want to you know, be one of the first out of that final turn because it's a really long way <laughs> to the finish line and it's uphill. So, um, but as you can see, the uh, group is uh, finally bringing me back. So kind of stayed out front for about a lap, um, but I figured they probably weren't going to obviously let me just go. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so I'm going to kind of just roll off the throttle here and you know just file into the group and kind of see how things shake out we're now about 15 minutes into the race and i've kind of been you know conserving my energy you know further back um, but you can kind of see there's a move going up the road here um and there's been moves uh <laughs> you know before this that have been brought back pretty quick so i'm not too worried about it but I'm definitely keeping an eye on it um, because there's I believe three riders up the road and I think the the previous uh, breakaway attempts was just more solo riders but yeah you kind of see there they already went through the turn there's three riders and so I'm like all right I'm gonna kind of ride near the front now um, and see make sure that <laughs> not too big of a gap is uh, you know, brought out, and then if so, then maybe I'll attempt to bridge. Unfortunately, the breakaway kept extending their uh, lead, and there just was not a lot of motivation from, you know, the teams in the field to bring this back. Um, so I, I've been kind of debating, like, should I try and bridge? And you can kind of see they're, you know, probably have about a 15 or second, you know, lead up the road. And the group kind of slows down again. And I just kind of carry my momentum and then kind of attack off of that. And I'm like, all right, time to bridge up to this group. And <laughs> as if, if y'all have seen my videos before, you know, I'm not a breakaway rider, I'm a sprinter, but you know, if I'm entering a race, I'm there to win, I'm not there to get fourth place. So I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna bury myself and try to get across to this group. Um, and they're, they're hammering pretty good. So <laughs> this is gonna be a, uh, a tough bridge attempt. And while we see if I can bridge up to this group of three, I want to real quick shout out the Pros Closet, who's the sponsor of this video. Um, if you don't know, TPC um, is a certified pre-owned bike retailer. Uh, they have tons of bikes for sale that are pretty awesome. So definitely check them out. Um, they offer a 30-day buyback guarantee, and you can also even trade in your current bike. Um, and get either a store credit or cash. Um, so tons of options there. Um, so if you're interested in the market for a bike, definitely go check them out. I've linked them down in the description. And you can see I'm making some pretty good progress here. I'm definitely burying myself uh, 193, 194 heart rate. So that's, uh, that's pretty high, not too sustainable, but I'm 
getting pretty close. I'm like, within five seconds, I probably brought back, you know, about five, maybe even up to 10 seconds. Uh, and, but this is just so hard. And so we're now, you know, about to come into this downhill section and uh, I'm just gonna kind of try to recover a little bit, still spike up here to get the, the momentum and speed, uh, but then try and coast as best as I can, uh, you know, through this section. And since I'm by myself, I can really just take really good lines. Uh, so, you know, that's definitely helping me. Um, <laughs> but man, I'm just destroyed here. Uh, and another factor, in this race is this isn't overcast this is actually smoke from uh the canada fires that happened and so you know being someone that has asthma and all that uh <laughs> definitely not ideal so you know i probably wouldn't have been able to bridge up to them regardless but this kind of made it even harder and is going to make my recovery even you know more difficult and so at this point, I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna have to sit up and wait for the field. And also you can kind of see the breakaway is actually breaking apart at the front. And so that also gave me more confidence of like, all right, well, they're probably falling apart themselves since, <laughs> you know, I gave everything I had uh, to try and bridge up. So, um, so I figured, you know, we we're all probably gonna be brought back by the Peloton and, you know, we could kind of just, uh, you know, wait for the field sprint at the end. But unfortunately, uh, <laughs> everyone except one person came back to the Peloton and the other guy ended up soloing for the win. Uh, super impressive ride by him. So this is gonna now be a battle for second place. We are now two laps to go and I'm just gonna try and you know stay relatively near the front. I kind of want to be in this roughly like tenth wheel position, um, but the problem with that is being tenth wheel is a little too much in the middle to where a lot of times you can get swarmed. And you can see riders are kind of like starting to fan out a little bit, and I'm like, all right, I think I'm about to get swarmed by some people, uh, so I'm gonna put in a little bit of power to just move around some of these guys. You know, I want to maintain that position. Definitely don't want to get further back than 15th place. Um, but again, I don't want to move too far up because you know, taking this last turn into the finish, it's a really long drag. Um, you know, and a lot of times in crits, you want to be that first or second wheel going to the last turn, but this is definitely one of those exceptions. And something I was also paying a lot of attention to is like what side of the road I was going to want to be on. You know, it kind of bends to this right side. So a lot of times this right side was getting clogged up. Um, and also I figured people are going to be trying to get to that right inside side. So my plan in the last lap is to go on the left side. So I'm going to slot behind this rider, but he's kind of not holding the wheel so I'm like uh oh well, let's see if he's uh actually gonna close the gap and I'm just like all right I can't wait any longer so I'm just gonna go around him I'm like well that's unfortunate didn't want to spend that energy but <laughs> that's just how it goes uh so yeah so now I think I'm like eighth wheel so I'm pretty comfortable in this position so I'm just gonna kind of hold behind this rider in the blue um and I'm really not wanting to, to pass anyone here. Um, I'm really gonna try and leave this spread as late as possible, um, which could come back to bite me, but hoping not. And then, so we're uh, now under 750 meters to go, coming into this last turn, and I'm gonna try and position myself on this outside, like I was talking about before. Um, and then this rider in front of me, I'm like, all right, I think I'm gonna probably be following his wheel. He's normally has a pretty good sprint. Um, so if I can kind of draft behind him, that would be ideal. Um, and so now it's just being patient, waiting for that first person to, to make the move. And sure enough, 400 meters to go, things kind of kick off. I spike over a thousand watts. Uh, and I'm, I'm just trying to be patient as possible, waiting as waiting, and then 
I'm like, all right, now. And so I kind of spike up over a thousand again. And I'm like, all right, time to uh, put in everything I have, trying to close the gap. And I'm able to actually get on the inside of this guy and come around, get second place. So I was definitely excited with the result. Um, you know, it was, it was definitely a tough race. I had normalized over 300 watts, um, you know, and part of that was that big bridge attempt. Um, but going up that hill every time was, was tough. So, um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have a lot more videos coming, um, a lot more exciting races. So definitely like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. It really helps grow the channel. But thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.